The Sing-Off. The Whiffenpoofs. The background music on Glee. There is no question that today, acapella music is crucial to our society. But where did it all begin? In this documentary, we will take you back in time, talk to noted acapella scholars, and examine historical evidence to show viewers that wherever there are people, sometimes some of them sing without instruments. Sit back, relax, and secure yourself for the ride in Journey to the Acapast! It was a snowy day in February of BC. Homo erectus had just evolved. An exciting time in the history of evolution. <laughs> and he was quite different from his very close relative, the gorilla. Perhaps the most notable change was a shift in dexterity of the pharynx, <laughs> allowing for much greater movement in the tongue and throat regions. And, uh, you know, quite frankly, this uh, new level of dexterity allowed the Homo erectus to um, develop almost an uh, inability to sing, quite frankly. Depicted here is a female Homo erectus in her natural habitat, demonstrating the leading acapological theory for the beginnings of acapella. Now, this Homo erectus began with individual, more rhythmic sounds, more like doom, doom, bum, bum, doom, doom, like so. But over time, they gathered the ability to create ceremonious group noise-making, if you will, <laughs> as depicted in these cave drawings. Fascinatingly enough, we have reason to believe that audiences expressed appreciation by snapping their fingers. <clears throat> A tradition likely rooted in the Triassic period with the Tyrannosaurus Rex, whose tiny arms prevented clapping. Acapella continued to evolve, and we see its next incarnation in ancient Greece. This painting shows the traditional nine muses, goddesses of art, but it also shows the lesser known tenth muse. Called Polybopnia, or She of Many Bops, she was the muse of acapella, for whom Homer's Odyssey was written. His opening line, Sing in me, O muse, refers to his original intent that the piece be performed by him with an acapella shoe part. With conquest, acapella was carried from culture to culture, and traditions were shared. A new use of acapella emerged in the Middle Ages, when music was thought to ward off the plague. People were too poor to afford musical instruments, so they would process through their homes, singing doos and bops as an incantation to prevent the sickness from touching their houses. Unfortunately, it didn't work, and 75% of the people died, most of them a cappella singers. This ushered in the dark ages of a cappella, and we're not talking about vowel sounds. The style did not re-emerge until the age of exploration, when European stumblers stumbled upon Mayan calendars mentioning an acapocalypse. In a stroke of irony, this actually reignited interest in acapella, until the Puritans, the footloose town of the 1600s, banned it. I saw Mary Johnston back behind the butter churnery, bopping and doo-wopping away. It is surely a sign of witchcraft. Tobias Littleton saw her early in the day, snapping her fingers and reading the devil's symbols on the staff. Such sin! Mary Johnston is hereby sentenced to wear a scarlet A, so everyone will know her as an a cappella singer. Anti a cappella prejudice eventually faded. And by the time of the founding of the United States, a cappella played a crucial role in forming the ideals of the new country. Now, at this point, the colonists themselves were rather disgruntled due to taxation on paper. Um, it, quite frankly, disallowed them from printing their music. Um, although one popular group of the time, um, they called themselves uh, the Founding Fathers, 
featuring members like uh, James Madison, Thomas Jefferson. In fact, it was, um, it was the group pitched by George Washington, yes. And to fight these rising taxes, decided to start a new country with a cappella music for all. <laughs> In fact, I have with me an original manuscript of the Declaration of Independence, which reads, they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. Among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of a cappella music. End quote. As the country grew, a cappella was used as an expansion method. This dramatization shows Sacagawea using ancient Native American methods to help Lewis and Clark navigate through the wilderness. As the 19th century progressed, the women's rights movement emerged, with Susan B. Anthony music directing the first all-women's a cappella group, called the Suffragettes, using their songs to promote women's rights. A cappella continued through the turn of the 20th century and helped to keep morale in the country high during World War I. It eventually became so popular and intoxicating that it was banned under prohibition. This led to the development of sing-easies, Secret clubs where the musically talented got together to sing a cappella in rebellion against the man. Pitches were often the passwords to get into these clubs where music flowed freely. Once prohibition was lifted, though, the U.S. government saw a cappella in a new light. They began attempting to harness its power in order to defeat their enemies, starting during World War II with the Manhattan Transfer Project. A sort of a cappella arms race took place during the Cold War, and the government put funding into creating more a cappella groups to assert the nation's singing superiority. They look to college campuses as prime breeding grounds for their a cappella experiments, and it is for that reason that something extra was formed. The third and final prototype of all women's a cappella at Yale, this group, along with others on Yale's campus, were so good that the Soviet Union realized that they could never compete, thereby ending the Cold War. Today, a cappella is still a major aspect of society, after its long and illustrious history. It serves to entertain, inspire, and prevent Yale students from studying for their midterms. We cannot guess what the future holds for a cappella, but it probably has something to do with singing. Thank you for coming on this journey to the Acapast, and join us next week for Carol Honors, Quasimodo, and beyond.